What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys the fastest and easiest way to rep up in NBA 2K19. So before this video starts, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Yesterday I hit 2.5 thousand subscribers, so thank you guys so much for all the support recently and let's get right into the video. So the first thing that you want to do is go to options, go to settings, and make sure that you are on pro difficulty because for pro difficulty, more shots will go in and you'll get a lot more rep. I tested whether pro, superstar, or hall of fame give you the most rep and it's definitely pro and you're obviously going to want to play on 12 minute quarters because the longer the quarters the more rep which means you'll be in cutscenes and loading scenes less and then put the shot meter by your hands and your feet even if you don't use the one by your feet you're going to want to use it to see how far you can shoot from because it actually shows your range and the one thing that will help you get a ton of rep is not playing any defense at all and this is because if you don't play defense the other team will shoot the ball a lot faster which means you'll get more possessions and opportunities on offense so when you're on offense you're going to want to call for the ball but make sure you do it when you're open so that your teammate doesn't get a turnover because that just means less possessions for yourself so you're going to want to post your man as far under the hoop as possible and then you're going to want to do a post hop shot i tested out drop steps post spins post hops all of those post moves and post hop shots give you so much rep this is because you don't just get rep points for the hop shot you also get points for a moving shot and sometimes you also get rep points for a step back shot and the two best post hop shots in the game that you want to equip are either post hop shot 3 or post hop shot 10 and the one that i'm using in this gameplay is actually post hop shot 10 but post hop shot 3 i tried it out and it's also very good and in this gameplay you can see that i'm playing the celtics but that's only because I was in the finals in this gameplay. And the thing that you actually want to do is to not play every game. You're going to want to simulate past the games where there are big men that are good defenders. For example, if I were you, I would not play against the Pelicans because they have Anthony Davis and he will lock you up in the post. So before each game, say you're playing the Suns, you're going to want to look at their roster, check their big men, so centers and power forwards, you're going to want to check their post defense, and if there's anything that's above a B-, minus, so B, B+, plus, A-, minus, A, or A+, plus, you're not going to want to go against them, because this will make this rep method so much harder. And there are actually some teams, I'm not sure which ones, because I'm actually in my third season and some people have gotten traded, but there are some teams where there are no big men at all with a B or higher post defense so against those teams this rep method will be so easy you'll be making all your shots because their defense will be horrible and if you end up with somebody guarding you that has high strength and you can't post them up under the hoop you're gonna want to do a post spin until you get past them and you're under the hoop and then from there you can do a post hop shot and for this method once you get to 91 overall you actually do get the on-court coach badge which means that your teammates will pass to you every single time when you call for the ball. So this badge is pretty good because your teammates can just throw it across the court and you don't have to play any defense and you could just score a lot easier. In this gameplay, I actually did post hop shots for the whole game. It did make me do a few post hooks and stuff like that because I actually backed my man up under the hoop a little too much. But if you do post hop shots the whole game, you will get a ton of rep. And I suggest also doing drop steps and stuff because sometimes you're not like in the perfect position for a post hop shot but i'm gonna give you guys the stats real quick so on pro difficulty post hop shots will give you 480 my points then the second best thing to do is post fades with 440 then floaters give you 312 so if you're on the fast break you could just do that drop steps give you 200 my points and then the worst thing to do are post spins which actually give you 148 my points so you could do post spins and then from there you can do a post fade or something like that i don't suggest trying to steal the ball but if you actually do want to steal the ball just make sure you do not steal it from point guards like curry and Kyrie who have high ball control one thing you could do to make this rep method a lot easier is to get traded to the Lakers because LeBron James and Lonzo Ball both have gold dimer so that'll help you to make a lot more of your shots. And even though I'm on pro difficulty I sometimes get double teamed and that's one reason why I'm on the Warriors because Curry does have silver dimer and also if I do get double teamed I could pass it out to Draymond, to Clay, or to Kevin Durant. Even though Superstar and Hall of Fame difficulty give you a higher multiplier for your my points, if you're on pro difficulty you can get takeover faster, you can score more points, you can get more fans, you can get on fast breaks a lot easier because your opponents will miss more shots, and you'll have more range on your post hop shots which is pretty good. 
And last but not least, you'll get rep for winning games. And the three badges that you want to help you on your post hop shots are Bruiser, so that way you can back your man down under the hoop as much as possible, Midrange Deadeye, so that way you can hit some contested shots, and Difficult Shots, because when you do post hop shots, it actually does activate your Difficult Shots badge. And here's a comparison between Superstar and Pro Difficulty. So this gameplay that I had in this video was actually Superstar Difficulty. As you can see, I got 9,500 points for moving shots. And for post hop shots, I got about 5,000 points. And for post step backs, I got about 2,000 points. In total, I only ended up with 27,000 my points from playing on Superstar. And that's because in Superstar difficulty, it's a lot harder to make shots. And if you do miss shots, it lowers the amount of my points you get per shot. And also, it's kind of hard to get shots up because you get double teamed a lot more than in pro. So this game right here was actually on pro difficulty. And it was so much easier to get shots off. It was so much easier to make shots. And because of that, I got so much more rep from this game. As you can see, I went 5 for 6 on moving shots. I got 1,000 my points for that. I didn't even spam post hop shots, which is what gets you the most rep, and I still managed to get 43,000 my points just from playing on pro difficulty. So if I was to spam post hop shots, I could probably get 50,000 to 55,000 my points per game. The more you use this rep method, the easier it will get because as you use it, you'll get some badges, you'll get hot zones, and you'll get your release timing down over time. And I mentioned this a little bit before, but you do not want to try to steal the ball from their point guard. Because if you do, I mean you could get a steal and you could end up getting a little bit more rep. But if you don't get the steal, you could get a foul and that'll lead to you playing less minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you guys have any questions about this method, if there's something that I didn't explain well enough, let me know down in the comments below and I'll explain it to you better there. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'm out. Peace.